Hi, this is George from Car Clinic, and we've got a mess here, but we're uh, going to show you what we're doing. We've got a Honda Civic that we're switching the engines on. And there's one engine, and there's the other, and this is a great opportunity to show you where some things are on cars. This is the harmonic balancer, and uh, back here we have, from here over, is the transmission. So we've taken it out of the car, we're going to put the transmission onto the new engine and I'm going to show you some of the parts that you rarely get to see, uh, number one because they're out, number two because people usually don't ask. But uh, this is a air conditioning compressor, you can see how tiny it is, they're making everything smaller and lighter with uh, aluminum. This is an alternator of all things. This is the uh, famous catalytic converter, and uh, you've got, this is the part that hooks up to the engine, and this is the part that goes into the exhaust. There's your oxygen sensor, and we do a lot of these. If you use good gas, you get a chance to leave them in there a little longer and a little bit cleaner, and it'll save you a couple of hundred bucks if you save uh, money. I know the gas thing is a thing with everybody. Some people say, all gas is the same and it's not, and we'll do that at another uh, YouTube video. We've got, uh, this will be a power steering pump, believe it or not, you see how tiny it is. Technology these days is fantastic. This is uh, the intake manifold, and this is plastic. If you've seen some of our videos on plastic parts, this is the same thing. In the old days, this used to be made out of metal. You can see how light it is. And yeah, it's plastic. <clears throat> Here's what we got a CV joint. And if you've ever had a CV joint replaced because the boot is leaking, that's how it leaks. It's a rubber boot, it's got grease in there, it's got grease in here. And when the grease leaks out and you're turning, you hear a click, click, kick. That's what a CV joint is. In most places, it's almost cheaper to replace the entire joint than just to replace the boot. Over here we have the K-frame that we've talked about on other videos. That's where the engine and the transmission sit on. There's your strut. There's your brake rotor. Back over here is your rack and pinion, which is, controls your steering. And you can see it is a pretty daunting job. A uh, job like this would pay roughly about 15 to 20 hours. And it's very labor intensive. But we enjoy doing them and we do a lot of them. Another part I want to show you is a water pump. And that's what a water pump looks like. There's the impeller. That's what spins the water in and out of your engine. And there's a starter. And yeah, these parts are very small. Technology is really incredible these days. In the old starters, they used to be about twice the size of this. <clears throat> there's your belt tensioner for your serpentine belt. And some of those of you that have had them replaced, that's what you paid for, that's what you're looking at. And this looks like an airflow meter, mass airflow sensor. And uh, running good gas in this will keep it clean. If you run dirty gas, this gets full of carbon, clogs up the part. These things are about $300. As always, thanks for watching the YouTube. Hit like, subscribe, have a great day.